Okay, let's take a look at a new feature in our IntelliJ plugin for Team Services. So I've got IntelliJ open, as you can see, uh, and you might notice this new icon in the bottom right hand corner. So what we've added is build status information into our plugin. So if you've got the Team Services plugin loaded and connected to a Team Services account, you can see the status of your last build. So here I can see that the build failed. If I click on the icon, I can get a little more information. I can see that the master build is actually still green, so no problems there. But the build for the branch that I'm currently working in is red. So I can click on this uh, menu item. That'll take me to the build. And then I can click, look at the logs, investigate the problem, see what might be going wrong, and go and fix it. So in this case, I introduced this problem, so I know exactly what the problem is. I'll remove that compile error, and we can push these changes. I've got a CI build set up. So as soon as we push this to the server, we'll be able to see that it fixes our build. All right, so. IntelliJ is not going to update right away. It's polling every five minutes to see when the builds change. But I can go here, click on here, go back to the build, and take a look at uh, the completed builds, and then here's my build in progress. If I open that up, it's still running. Take a few more seconds here to finish. Okay, it's finished. We can see that it's successful now um, against that branch, which is great. If I pop back over to IntelliJ, uh, if I give this five minutes, it'll, it'll refresh itself. But I can also click this Refresh Now menu because I know the build just finished. And I can see that it's green. Now when I click on it, I can see that Master is green and so is our branch build. Now, if I want to queue my own build from here, I can click on this menu item. And it'll take me straight to the queue build dialog. I can choose the branch and I can queue the build. Those are the build features for now. Uh, we hope you find the build status icon useful and that you get a lot of uh, use out of it. Thanks.